Hey, y'all, happy new year. If you're like me, then you are ready to run and make this year your best one yet. But the truth is, all of our excitement and pent-up energy doesn't know where to go because even though the calendar changed, well, the day-to-day chaos and busyness has stayed the same. That's why I'm offering a free webinar on January 11th to help you cut through the chaos and kickstart your year. Join me for a free goal-setting session, five goals you need to be successful this year. Y'all, it's completely free. Get the help, hope, steps, and plan you need to make this year what you want it to be. Go to christywright.com to get your spot today. That's christywright.com. Hey, everyone, and welcome to Get Your Hopes Up. I'm Christy Wright, and I'm so glad you're here. Romans 15, 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him so that you may overflow with hope by power of the Holy Spirit. Our God is the God of hope, and He wants you to overflow with hope. So let's start our week by getting our hopes up again. And Happy New Year, everyone. I am so excited about a new year. I love a new month anyway or a new week. I love Mondays. I just love that feeling of a fresh start. Don't you? But if you follow me on Instagram, then you know I've been talking for, I don't know, a couple of years now that we've been in this wilderness season. I've talked about it here on the show as well. We have been in a challenging desert wilderness type of time, and we've learned the lessons. Yes, great, fine. But however, I'm real ready to not be in this season, if I'm honest, y'all. So when we flip the calendar, it is January 1st. It is a new year, a new month, a new week. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's a clean slate. I just feel full of hope about the new year. I am so expectant about what God's gonna do. And I'm so excited to be entering into a new season. So today we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about a new year and goal setting and all the fun things that we love to talk about in January. But We need to start by looking at this a little different. Y'all know I love to talk about things from different angles. And so today, we're going to talk about goal setting from a different perspective. And I want to give you a question that I want you to ask yourself before you dive into goal setting for this year. Because here's the reality. Most of us start the new year by thinking about all the things we want to do, right? Like here are the things I want to accomplish. Here are the things I want to do. Here are the tasks I want to check off the list. Here are the big milestones I want to achieve, on and on and on. Goals, resolutions, habits, all the things, all good things, by the way. But I want to challenge you. We need to start with a different question. Because if you think about all that you need to do or even want to do, the truth is the options are overwhelming, right? It's a brand new year. That's so exciting. Also, what should I do? Shoot. What should my priorities be? Should I run a marathon, write a book, start a business, buy a dog, travel to Europe? Should I take up a new hobby, hire a nanny, read more books, lose some weight, pay off debt, volunteer at church, hire an assistant, save the manatees? What should my goals be? What should I do? I don't know. (sighs) Deep breath. Okay, let's not. Let's not start this new year with another to-do list that just becomes a burden and one more thing that you beat yourself up for when it doesn't happen. Let's not, okay? Let's just not do that. Let's start this year differently. Because if you start your year and set your goals and plan your schedule by only asking yourself what you want to do, that can lead you down a path of being really busy, but not fulfilled. Where you're just running hard, but you're not sure where. You're tired, but you're not proud. You're exhausted again, and you have no idea why you're doing the things that you're doing. This is what happens when we start our year and plan our schedule and plan our goals by just thinking of what should I do? Instead, let's start this year different. Just as passionate, just as energetic and motivated and enthusiastic as all New Year's are, but let's start it by asking a better question. Instead of asking yourself, what do I want to do this year? Ask yourself this. Who do I want to be? Think about that for a minute. Who do you want to be this year? Now, of course, you are you. And as Dr. Seuss says, there is no one who's youer than you. But you and I both know there are different sides to you. Listen, I love New York. 
and I love farms. I love blazers, and I love dressing up in costume. I love worship music, and y'all, I love some 90s rap. I'm well-rounded, people. There are different sides to all of us, and there's different seasons in our life. And so when we go through different seasons, different seasons actually bring out different sides of us. That's okay. That's a good thing. So, for example, I am resourceful and entrepreneurial and strategic, and that side of me is absolutely thriving since leaving a corporate job two years ago. I am creating and networking and brainstorming and building every day. And y'all, I feel so alive in that. I love running my own business. I get to run in ways that I never could working for a big company. I'm also a very clean person. Now, I have to tell you, the clean freak in me has been held hostage by three tiny tornadoes in the last nine years. So, you know, she doesn't get out much these days, but she's in there somewhere dying inside with every goldfish that is smashed on the floor again. So we all have these different sides, right? We have different sides to us. And when you realize that you truly can be what you want to be, it changes how you look at your year. It changes how you look at your goals and it changes how you make your plans. So I want to ask you again, who do you want to be this year? Like really? What version of you or what side of you do you want to work on and live from? Who do you want to be for your family or your work or most of all, yourself? When you know who you want to be, you'll know what goals to set. You'll know what things to prioritize this year because you will begin to do things that allow you to be who you want to be. Craig Rochelle talks about this. He says, when you know who, you'll know what to do. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to become this year? Or what side of yourself do you want to bring out? Now, one quick caution here. Don't immediately answer this question based on what anyone else wants you to be. It's tempting. It may be even your gut response of like, oh, I should be this because really in your subconscious, that's what everybody tells you you should be or you should want to be. Don't do that. Don't answer this question based on who everyone else wants you to be. Who do you want to be? But also don't answer this question based on who you think you already are or are not. You've probably heard me talk about this before. We often put labels on ourselves and limits on ourselves, and then we just live within those. So we make these declarations like, oh, I'm not a runner. No, no, I'm not a runner. I'm sorry. Do you have legs? You could run if you want to. Now, if you don't want to, fine. But these dec, I'm not a runner. I'm not a business owner. Mm-mm. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not business minded. I'm not salesy. I don't sell. I don't have a marketing mind. I'm not a speaker. I've heard that a lot in the last two years. Oh, I'm not a speaker. Oh, but you run a business and do Facebook lives every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not a speaker. Okay, okay. Or I'm not a fun mom. I'm just not. I'm just not. I'm not a. Uh, okay. The only response I have to these declarations, these identity statements as absolutes, this is just just final forever. My response to you is this. Says who? Says who? Who's decided that you're not a runner, you're not a business owner, you're not a speaker, you're not a fun mom? Says who, y'all? Your actions define you in many ways. So if you want to be something different like fun, or a business owner, just go do the thing that you don't think you can do, and then boom, you are. You are a runner. You are a fun mom. Go do something fun. There, you're fun. You're welcome. Go run to the end of your street. There you go. You're a runner. Fixed that problem, didn't we? Listen, you can be anything you want to be. Now, can you play in the NBA? Probably not, unless you're like, you know, 6'11", and you've been playing basketball your whole life, but you can be a lot more than you are. And you can certainly be a lot more than you think you can be. It is so easy to live into the labels that the world gives us or that we give ourselves, but you don't have to. You've done that before. You don't have to do that this year. Don't ask yourself who your friends want you to be or who your mother-in-law wants you to be. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be this year? What version of you do you want to be this year? You know, I've talked about this before, but God speaks a lot in the Bible about desires. And if you have a desire in your heart welling up for a part of you to come out or a side of you to grow, y'all pay attention to that. God will show you who you are and God will show you what to do often by fanning the flames of your desires. Do you have this 
urge or this call or this pull? Is there a part of you that feels like it's just been collecting dust in the background and you're going, maybe this is the year that that part of me can come to life again. This is the year that I can take up that hobby again. This is the year I can invest time in that part of myself again. So who do you want to be? Who do you want to be this year? Like everything I talk about, this can change by what season you're in. For example, in 2021, I had the best year of my life with work. I launched my book, Take Back Your Time. I spoke more than ever. I built brands. I was all over the country. Like, it was amazing. I was going hard, and I loved every second of it. I was like professional, author, speaker, business coach, powerhouse. Like, I was on the road, and I was loving it. And then in 2022, my first year of leaving Ramsey, you know what I did? I rested. I was home with my kids during a really hard season of our lives together. I grieved. I really went inward. I regrouped from my whole world being turned upside down in many different ways. I rested. I slowed down. I didn't post on social media. And I just backed off of everything. That was right that year. And then the second year after leaving Ramsey, you know what that was? That was a building year. I started my business, I created courses, I was doing one-on-one coaching, I was building all of the things that now are really picking up momentum and steam as my business is growing and I'm hiring and we're scaling. That was a building year. So different years will look different. The version of you that comes out or maybe is highlighted in your priorities, your goals, your plans, your schedule can change and that's okay. So what about you? Who do you want to be this year? When you think about who you want to be, you will set better goals. You will make better plans. You will begin to put things on paper that move you in the direction of who you want to be. When you know who you want to be, you'll know what you need to do this year. You know, several months ago, as I was coming into the two-year mark of leaving Ramsey, I actually asked myself this question that I'm asking you today. I asked myself, who do I want to be? Like, I'm free from Ramsey. It's a brand new year. My business is picking up steam. I've got a lot of things going well and a lot of new things that I want to do. Who do I want to be? If I can be anything, and now with some time and space, I can, then who do I want to be? And now after that little two-year break, I got to tell you guys, I am ready to get back to business. That's right. Business coaching, business teaching, business training, Now, of course, the business boutique brand is still retired, but y'all, I am building new things for you this year that I am so excited about. Of course, with the same practical training that you love, the entertaining storytelling that you're used to, it's still me, it's still business, but we have got a whole lot of new things we're going to do. Which brings me to my very exciting announcement. Y'all, I am so excited to tell you that starting next week, I am launching a brand new show here on the main Christy Wright podcast channel. It is called Business Bootcamp, the practical steps you want and the tough love truth you need to succeed in your business. That's right. I now have two podcasts. Get Your Hopes Up, which will release every Monday right here on the main podcast channel. And now my new business show, Business Bootcamp, which will release every Tuesday, both right here on my podcast channel and on my YouTube channel. Y'all know I'm gonna keep encouraging you in your faith, but now I'm also back to helping you build your business as well. So the first new episode of Business Bootcamp releases next week on Tuesday. Tune right back here to the Christy Wright channel to listen in, and I'll see you then. All right, y'all, thank you so much for joining me for Get Your Hopes Up. I love hanging out with you every Monday to help you get to know God, get closer to Him, and get your hopes up again. Be sure to follow the Christy Wright channel so you never miss a new episode of Get Your Hopes Up or the new show, Business Bootcamp. And then I'll see you next Monday for another new episode of Get Your Hopes Up.